Hey everybody, it's Nick here again with another clip for you. I uh, hope you're all staying safe and healthy out there. Um, I think this is the third Friday of social distancing. And, um, you know, as far as I know, I've remained healthy, which I'm thankful for. And I hope you are too. Um, I've had a few cool things uh, going on this week. Um, I was approved by the uh, licensure board to take my uh, Masters of Social Work level uh, LSW exam, so that's very exciting. And, um, you know, it's kind of difficult to plan out anything, like, at this point in time. Uh, so I've been indulging in some retail therapy. Um, you know, just to have, like, you know, one small thing to look forward to. Um, so I uh, bought myself a ton of, like, t-shirts, that sort of thing. Big fan of, uh, you know, metal, hardcore, post-hardcore. Uh, so I bought myself a very cool um, tie-dye uh, t-shirt from the band Thursday. Uh, I haven't had any merch from them since I was in high school, so I'm very excited for that to get here. Uh, plus, they've been making masks out of some of their older merch to give to, um, you know, first responders in their, um, in their hometown of New Brunswick, New Jersey. So I think that's very cool, too. Um, anyway, on the note of self-care... Um, I feel like that's something that men in general are, like, discouraged from engaging in, right? Because, like, you know, we think about self-care and, you know, we think it's, like, sort of, like, treating ourselves and, like, sort of pampering ourselves. But I feel like men don't always feel the need to do that, which is kind of concerning. But this brings me into what I'd like to specifically talk about today, which is a concept called the man box. So I'm going to explain what that is. This episode is going to be a two-parter. I'm going to explain the man box this week, talk about why it's bad, and then next week I'm going to give you strategies to counter man box type thought patterns. All right, let's dig in. So the man box was, well, it is a concept that was coined by the activist Tony Porter uh, in his book A Call to Men. Uh, that's also the title of a TED Talk that he gave that I recommend checking out. Now, also, the reason I'm so fascinated with the man box is that um, when I first entered this line of work about a year and a half ago at this point, um, it was one of the first concepts of explaining and, like, understanding masculinity that I encountered. And so, for a lot of people, uh, myself included, like, the first thing you encounter whenever you enter a new field, you know, whatever it is, be it employment or music or movies, whatever. That first, uh, the first piece that you encounter is often like, you know, it like sets the stage for like your future interests and um, what you care to understand more, um, you know, out of other concepts. So the man box itself, um, it refers to the collective socialization of men. Um, Imagine that, you know, someone's head is a uh, doo -doo 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 storage container. And, you know, the storage container only has space for a few things to go into it, right? Um, so the man box, the things it allows in are men must be successful, men must be powerful, men must be strong. And these are the things that are focused through media, through older generations, upon uh, men and boys growing up. It's what we're told that, you know, we're supposed to do. We're supposed to be the provider. We're supposed to be strong. We're supposed to, you know, be rich. We're supposed to be able to, like, buy things. And my thought, though, what happens if someone just, like, isn't able to achieve those things that have been drilled into their head for, like, decades by the time they're actually happening, right? Right? It's disappointing. It's just like, you know, it's limiting. Because by only allowing those three traits to be what defines masculinity, you're almost robbing yourself of, um, you know, just a wider developed and like a wider scope of interests and like things to be passionate about, the things that make life worth living, you know? Um... I'll admit, like, you know, when I was younger, I truly, truly, truly wanted to, like, strike it rich. I wanted to live a life of luxury. I wanted to just, um, be a financial 
powerful guy, you know? But that's not where the things that make me me took me. That's not where, like, my commitment to, like, social justice, it's not where, like, me caring about other people, that just didn't take me down, like, being hyper-wealthy. And I'm okay with that. I wouldn't trade where I'm at for anything. So, me personally, I've sort of escaped the man box. I mean, obviously, like, you know, we're all constantly growing, we're constantly shifting, we're constantly evolving. But, you know, there's always room for growth, right? So, I hope that my explanation of the man box has helped you, like, better understand, like, what I'm getting at. Next week, I'm going to talk to you specifically about the escape and how to, like, counter those thought patterns. Um, I'm glad you watched. Uh, I hope you'll subscribe. I hope you'll leave me comments. I uh, hope you'll ask me some good questions. And until next time, this has been Nick uh, with another clip for you. And we will talk very soon. Bye now.